Game Leo. All right, let's go ahead and move into Leo's love reading. Thank you guys for being here. If you're on Patreon, the reading should just be moving forward, and we had a lot of fun on Patreon. Hopefully, the messages are clear on YouTube as well. Hello, YouTube subscribers. If you're not subscribed to my Patreon, I feel like I'm going to mess up these damn cards. There we go. Um, how are you guys doing? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Um, we're going to look at love for Leo. What's going on for Leo's? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? This prosperity lies ahead part keeps coming up at the bottom. So just letting you guys know, prosperity lies ahead for you guys. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Taurus too. That's that's showing. Hold your vision, Leo. Fixed moon, okay? So do not let go of your vision. Luck is on your side. Stay focused, Leo. Stay focused. There's going to be a lot trying to distract you right now, okay? Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Yes. Some of you guys have a fixed sign on your moon, like me. Your commitment is being tested. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys are probably going to go through a rough patch a little bit with someone. Your dreams need a practical plan. Um, I feel like your commitment to your dreams as well is important right now. Um, I feel like you need to focus more on your vision, your dreams. This relationship, may you may be in a situation that's hitting a rough path right now. Um, give me one more for your commitment is being tested. A, t a time to give rather than to take. I feel like this is, um, hold on, is this for Leo? Conclusion is, hold on, one more. The oracles are speaking to me right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So this was kind of similar to the, the reading we did last, um, last week. I think we did, um, one last week. And this is, um, telling me that there's, this is a, this is not for you. This is someone that you're connecting to. It's time for this person to give to you is what I'm getting. Um, because the answers you need are coming is what I got. No pun intended. We're not on the 18 plus anymore guys. So I'm not really being how I am on Patreon. I'm really being serious. It really does say the answers you need are coming. Um, and it also says the full moon. So maybe some, some, something is happening through the full moon. Um, I feel like we are in a new moon energy now. So this is a time for your person to be giving to you. And I feel like this is something you need to be manifesting. We also have conclusions are within reach. Also another full moon card. So something may be happening during the full moon, which I just realized is on Halloween. So yeah, I'm going to have a nine year old on Halloween and it's also a full moon. It's also my Juno return, which if you know anything about Juno return, it has a lot to do with partnerships and long term marriages. So I'm wondering how that's going to affect everything. I'll let you guys know um, when it happens. OK, I'll, I'll, you guys, Leo, we're here. So, you know, I let you guys in on the tea. But I do want to draw you guys attention real quick to my candles. If you guys are interested in my candles, all my candles come fixed with herbs and oils. OK, um, they come sealed with my stamp on it. So um, we do have a whole bunch of candles, different types <laughs> F me candles. I can't really say that on YouTube because they don't really like when I do that. These road openers, these, this is one of my favorites in the money drawing. But I, I added some more candles to the website. So if you guys are interested, there's oils. Sage, you can check it out, okay? So let's, and we also have believe in the pot impossible and nothing is yet set in stone. And confidence is your key to success, Leo. And to, on top of that, you're very close to achieving your goal. I feel like some of you guys are gonna have a conversation. It could be with a Gemini. You, some of you guys are gonna have a communication like with someone that I feel like is you're hitting a rough patch with right now. I feel like it's Mercury retrograde. So if you're hitting a rough patch with somebody right now, I don't feel like it's time to panic. But let's see what this reading says, okay? What's up with Leos? Are Leos in a rough patch with their partners right now? What's going on for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have fuck it, I'll do it myself. That is, there goes my monetization. <laughs> There's a, this is the chariot for me. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Cancerian. And we also have go date other people at the bottom of the deck. So there could be a little bit of a separation with someone right now. And I feel like maybe they need, need to be shown that, you know, if they don't want you, then, you know, other people do. <laughs> and Leos are really good at showing people that, okay? If any sign is good at making it known that uh, if you don't want me, somebody else does. Leo is the one, honey, okay? Let's see another one give me another one here give me another one 
she a hoe and under overlooked and underappreciated like great of fucus. So some of you guys can be done with a fucus. She a hoe. Who's a hoe though? Damn. Wifey material. Somebody is with a Sagittarius as a hoe. I'm sorry. There's two. Because Ophiuchus is Sagittarius in 12th sign. And here is um, Sagittarius again. Whoever this person is who... Somebody, if it's not a Sagittarius, it could be like a, a Cancer or a Capricorn, a Taurus, Libra. There could be someone who sees you as wifey material, but they're out here doing them. Could even be a Libra. Because, yeah, I just said Libra. Because I got that off of that wifey material, which is the Empress. Okay, so this is interesting. Let me pull these cards out so when these tarot come out, I can piece this together. Lord, I feel like you guys are creating distance between you and someone. I don't know why, though. What's, it, what's going on with Leo? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You don't want to support someone anymore. You don't want to commit to someone anymore. You were someone's, um, you were trying to, I feel like, build something with someone with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Let me move these out so you guys can see them. For people like, oh, I can't see the cards. Because somehow that changes the validity of the reading. But sorry. Let me move on. All right, what's their feeling? What is Leo feeling right now? What is going on for Leo? What's going on for Leo? The Knight of Cups. So you guys are open to love, but you're not open to giving as much physical effort into love leo you could be playing a little mind games right now or love games i don't know i heard um what is that lady gaga son yeah you're shining bright right now leo you're shining bright right now um i feel like you guys are really putting on a good leo show like you you look good you feel good you look good you look blessed okay we're gonna talk about this queen of pentacles in reverse so i feel like maybe you feel that someone's not dependable or that you just don't have someone dependable in your life but we'll see. What's this? Uh, what's the next card for Leo? We have the Knight of Wands, Leo. Queen of Wands, Leo. Nine of Pentacles, Leo. Hold on. Whoa. Leo, can we talk about it first? Leo, can we talk about it first, sis? Are you going to calm down, though? The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. <laughs> okay, Leo. Y'all got to calm down. People are going to start really, like being jealous okay like you guys are the sun like people watch they're gonna be people hating in these comments because of just the, the energy that i'm giving you guys right now but i see the energy that you're in the sun the nine of pentacles the knight of wands and the queen of wands ray j uh and please play ray j and new boys ain't gonna tie me down um please play um if it ain't about the money by ti and young thug um Please, please play 24 Karat by Bruno Mars, okay? If you just need to hear this energy in actual music form. Because it's like, um, wow. This is very, um, like, proud energy. But it's, you built something for yourself. You look good. If you're not in this energy, start working out. Get into your thing. Get into your creative outlet, okay? Because there's some money out here for you guys. There's good health out here for you guys. You're very sexy at this time, whether you think so or not. This is telling me that you have energy. You have eyes on you right now. Whether you think you do or not, you have eyes on you right now. There are a lot of people attracted to you. And you are coming up as the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So you're not committing to anyone. That's what this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is. You're not committing to anyone. You've given up on the idea of committing to someone. The Nine of Pentacles, no, the Sun was here, sorry. The Nine of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. Either way, the Sun could be there with the Nine of Pentacles. So, um, some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius and you're dealing, some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius who's less mature than you. Like there could be an age difference between you and this person. Cause this is a knight and she's a queen. So some of you guys are dealing with a younger Sagittarius or a Sagittarius that acts younger than you. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio. Okay. Give me more about this queen of pentacles in reverse for Leo, please. Give me more about this queen of pentacles in reverse. Ooh, that was a lot of cards. The two of wands. Yeah, you guys are not committing to anyone. You're not. Some of you guys are trying to move on from someone else. And you're opening yourself up to dating. Yeah, the six of swords came out again. Yep, fool. Yep. You're moving on. You're letting go of things that don't aren't working. Okay? You're not, you're not staying stuck on any one person. This is definitely you dating. I feel like you're focused on your career. You're not taking love seriously. Especially not with the queen of pentacles in reverse. 
the king of swords who leo super detached you're emotionally detached a lot of this is you putting on a show yeah you're not leo what are you doing leo stop oh my god i can't stand y'all leo why are y'all out here doing this to people leo with the page of cops though oh leo would be like yeah well you can take me on a date but we ain't gonna be nothing serious with the nine of pentacles though leo you're feeling yourself beyonce play feeling yourself please for us okay who is also a sidereal leo vedic leo i'm just saying high priestess in the eight of one leo are we in our power i'm sorry i know i've been hyping leo up but this energy i'm i'm loving it i'm sorry i'm so glad that i waited till the end of the night to do this because i like this energy the high priestess in the eight of wands you're waiting for wh whoever really wants you come get you that's how you feel. If they want you, they got to come get you because you're not moving. The high priestess and you're the queen of pentacles in reverse. You're not putting any physical effort into a, any situation. And the page of cups and the knight of cups came up here. So you're not really emotionally investing in a situation either. I feel like if someone shows you love, you'll show love. Um, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But you're not, you're, you'll show like that romantic love. But I don't feel like you're being vulnerable with people. I feel like you're being happy. You're not being mean to people. Don't get me wrong. You're not hurting anyone. There's no three. This is not heartbreaker energy. You're not the five of swords. Pisces had the five of swords for their feelings. That's heartbreaker energy. This is not you being heartbroken. This is you. Where, you know what, Leo? This is what we talked about last reading. This is where people never want a Leo to be. The king of swords and the, and the, and the sun, which actually is crazy because this is my moon sign, Aquarius. Yeah, so a balanced me pretty much, which is I'm not balanced yet, to where I use my head before my heart. People will, they hate to have that in a Leo. What do you mean Leo just won't jump because they love me anymore? What do you mean? You see how he's sitting too on his books, whatever the fuck he's sitting on, he's not moving. There's all these energy. This is you, Leo. Even if you're dealing with an air sign, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Gemini. A Scorpio. Anybody from your past that wants you, you're not, that hurt you from your past, or anyone who's ghosted you or left you out in the cold, you're letting that go. You're letting that go. Some of you guys are walking away from your divine counterpart because they're too slow for you. A Virgo, Aries, Gemini, or someone who's just very deceptive, you're walking away from this person. Yep. A lot of you guys are putting distance and space between you and your masculine. Okay? Yeah. Someone who's very manipulative. Okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like you guys are sitting on your throne and anyone who wants you has to come to you. See how the communication is coming to her. She's not sending the text messages. Okay. So I feel like you feel like you've done your part You with the King of Swords. He's smart about you're diplomatic. This is not you being mean to anyone. This is you using your head full energy Aquarius here. Wow. Okay. So let's see who these uh, eight of wands are coming from. We're, this is a lot of signs. So we're going to do um, Capricorn. We're going to do Aries, Aquarius. I see Libra. We got Scorpio. We definitely have Sag because Sag's been here a lot. We have a Fucus. We'll do that. We'll do Leo. We'll do Gemini. I think I already said Libra. And then we'll do Sag. And we'll do Pisces, and we also have Cancer with the um, High Priestess, okay? So those are the signs that we'll put a card on and see what's going to happen with these people for you, these signs, um, or, you know, maybe you're a sign watching and you want to see the Leo's perspective, whatever. We'll do that in the extended, and then we'll also look into who is sending um, these Eight of Wands, because someone's sending you messages, so I want to see who this is, okay? So if you want to continue with me, the extended is linked below, Leo. Thank you so much for this reading. Even if you don't like it, I, I loved it. It was a great reading. You're in really, really good energy this week. So I'll talk to you guys in the extended, okay? Peace. Make sure you comment and like the video, guys, so that way I show up in your algorithm, okay? Bye.